What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we actually started summer and planted down a bunch of seeds. And yeah, okay, I just wanted to check real quick if uh, Jazz's birthday is going to be this episode, and it is. Uh, but yeah, we planted down a bunch of seeds the, uh, last episode, including, actually, I think it was like literally everything, right? Like we had wheat, we had corn, we had uh, blueberries, uh, not green beans, but w w whatever was on that like wood pole or whatever. I forgot what the summer version of that was. Hops, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was hops. And of course, a bunch of chili peppers, too. And we even planted down some spangles and uh, poppies next to some bee nests or beehives, whatever there. So whenever they're ready to go, they could start making some uh, honey over there. So that's going to be good. And of course, a giant like 10 by 10 square for the melons, too. And I started uh, putting down the iridium sprinkler over there. And I definitely want to get some more of those if we ever get a bunch of money. Right. So check them on the report. I'll show you guys all the uh, the farm that stuff that we did last episode here in just a bit. It was going to be beautiful and sunny all day tomorrow. That's good. Fortune teller says good humor today okay that's great and the queen of sauce it's a rerun but what is it lucky lunch i don't think this rings a bell let me read this real quick an old legend has it that this meal is irresistible to spirits of luck and fortune after consuming it you're likely to attract a good spirit into your belly where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested sounds weird huh well i can't say i believe it but the meal is delicious nonetheless <laughs> well yeah that does not sound familiar at all and there you go learn how to cook lucky lunch that must be one of the recipes that uh, i missed and of course thankfully uh, there's a rerun right there right so anyways let's go over here let's grab some of the pepper poppers over here i might need to make some more thankfully it is summertime right now so we're growing more peppers hot peppers so uh oh yeah we don't have any more there i might need to start using the gold uh, hot peppers which we only have one whoops okay well <laughs> i guess we need to be careful with these hot peppers we currently have right golly but uh we don't have some uh, spare sprinklers spare uh, sprinklers right there we could use uh i do want to go use those here in just a bit with the coffee beans and yeah you can see we uh we move the barn and all those things like two episodes ago or whatever but this episode i do want to move the silo over maybe put it like up here or up here or something like that uh, i'm like there's nothing over here anyway so might as well move it back to where it was previously right so that's going to be good let's grab some of the coffee beans over here and plant those back down as long or along with the quality sprinklers that we have right there and i think that might honestly be it for oh yeah um also the ancient fruit we saw last episode the ancient fruit were ready uh we might have missed out on harvesting them for one day or something like that so that kind of sucks uh let me just take care of all the cows pet them milk them all that kind of jazz let's go over here yeah i also also got a comment from someone saying uh to use the scythe on the dead plants over here i did use that like one or two times uh, it, it was a lot faster than using the pickaxe, so there you go. Thank you for reminding me about that. And yeah, the coffee beans over here are ready as well as the ancient fruit up there, which I think I said this last episode, but someone said to turn the ancient fruit. Yeah, there you go. Ancient fruit. Turn those into seeds in the seed maker. I might as well go do that right. Oh, did I eat the, uh, yeah, I didn't eat the pepper poppers, so I was wondering why I wasn't moving on quite as fast right there. But to turn them into seeds in the seed maker, I might as well go get that started right now. So it's going on in the background while we're watering all the crops and stuff. And we can only do one seed at a time, right? So yeah, there you go. I guess we'll uh, do that after the other seed is done. So there you go. Cut this down. There you go. Boom. And let's just plant down the sprinklers. So that would be here. And then we'll plant down the other coffee and then here. Yeah. Cool. Let me uh, till the land over here as well. And I'm going to have to manually water it, too, because it's a little bit too late for the, uh, the sprinklers to work right now, unfortunately. And there you go. Okay, cool. So those are all set up with the, uh, the sprinklers. So that's good. Where are the uh, regular beans? Oh, here we go. There are the regular beans right there. I guess we'll do this. Uh, don't have any fertilizer for them right now, though. I should probably do that, but eh, I don't think it's that big of a deal, at least for right now. Uh, then I could put more coffee over there, but I did get a comment from someone saying, yeah, you, you already have tons of coffee. You don't need to get more. Like, look at all this down here that's still growing. I I don't, I don't think we need, like, insane amounts of coffee. I still, I also, also want to have room for the, uh, what's that called? Uh, ancient fruit. I also want to have room for that too, right? So don't want to forget about that. So, uh, we could leave some room up here for ancient fruit. And, of course, we need to come down here and grab some of the sap or, uh, what is that down there? Oak resin. Yeah, oak resin. Also need to put some, uh walls and stuff down here too or uh, not walls some pathways down here just to prevent weeds like that from growing so let's grab this there you go and cut down the uh, mahogany trees over here so we get a bunch of uh hardwood right so i guess i'll oh whoops oh whoops that was the wrong thing that was the hell right there 
<laughs> Let me cut down the mahogany trees over here, get a bunch of hardwood. And then uh, I, I, I really want to go to the desert today, you guys. Because remember, we unlocked that like two episodes ago or whatever. But yesterday, we're unable to go to the desert because we're so preoccupied with all the planting and all that kind of jazz. Yeah, all these crops over here, fully watered, automated, all that kind of jazz. Even right here, too. Wow. Uh, all I need to worry about is just watering this bit down here. And I should have filled up my watering can while I was in the area down there. So <laughs> that kind of sucks. But yeah, let me just water all these melon crops up here. And it looks like the uh, ancient seed, one of the ancient uh, fruit has turned into an ancient seed right there. Cool. Let's do the other uh, ancient seed. So it's going to be this one right here. Let's go plant it down where? Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of one of the coffee, I'd say. Just so it's automated watering. I, I don't know. Because we have so much coffee anyways, we don't need more. So I guess what we could do is maybe get rid of this. There you go. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, then we could do the same thing with the other ancient seed we're going to get. So there you go. We got one right there, and then uh, that's going to be permanently watered. Because I know if I don't put that next to a sprinkler, I'm just going to heck and forget. Oh, wow. That's actually done really quickly there, you guys. Holy heck. So let's go uh, plant this down over here, too. I guess we'll do it. Yeah, let's do it right next to it. Okay, cool. And ba-boom. Okay, awesome. Yeah, let me, let me go. Oh, what in the world's my dog? <laughs> He's pushing over the uh, hops over there. Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, let me continue watering over here. Oh, I'm out of water. Golly, I knew that was going to happen. And there's worms inside of here. I need to get the worms. We haven't gotten them in a while. A ch another chicken statue. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right. So it looks like everything's water right there, which is good. Uh, also got a comment from someone saying uh, at the end of the season, whenever you get all the ancient fruit and turn them all into ancient seeds and stuff like that, I should keep some ancient seeds for the greenhouse. So definitely want to remember that. And then, uh, of course, here in the future, once we have the Iridium sprinklers, we're not going to have to worry about that over there. It's going to be automated. So uh, that's going to be something to look forward to. But let me go over here. I think Robin closed at five. I don't know if we have enough time to head over to there. I guess we'll have to see here in just a bit, but see if anything else will stack. Yeah, nothing else stacking up there. Any forging stuff going to stack up here? Oh, a little bit. Okay, cool. And I kind of want to just keep the mayonnaise, keep the... I, oh, yeah, I didn't get the milk over here. Whoops. Yeah, I, I started making the milk, but I didn't grab it, unfortunately. So uh, let's go over here. Yep, the, or, uh, the cheese. I started making the cheese. I didn't grab it. So there you go. I guess we could sell that to Pierre or whoever, I suppose. Maybe we get a little bit of money and we could use that for something, right? Uh, but let me go inside. Let me drop off some stuff real quick. And hopefully we can still make it over. Oh, wait, look at that. We got another diamond. Amazing. But yeah, hopefully we can still make it over to Pierre's and get some stuff done over there, right? Uh, speaking of the diamond, do I want to sell that and get a little bit of... We have five diamonds right now. I kind of want to... Let's get rid of all but maybe two. That sounds good to me. Yeah, and then we have refined... Yeah, I used all the refining quartz last episode for uh, sprinklers, I think, right? So that's good. Let's put up uh, all the gold star, silver star, etc. up here. And I, I, I guess I can get rid of the torches and uh, the walls, put those up in the chest that's like right here, right? So let's go do that. And I guess we can maybe, maybe we could ride the bus if we have any time. I don't know. Put those up. There you go. And I guess that's it. Crystal fruit kind of want to keep that. And then, we, yeah, we have that. I should probably, yeah, man, put the freaking chicken statue up inside there. <laughs> oh, it's an artifact. Did I ever put that up? I don't know if I ever donated that, but we've got like a, what is that? A spice berry, I think that's called right there. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I don't think we ever got, did we ever get a special request? for this week i don't think we did but it's 450 right now actually doesn't pierre just close it like oh it's yeah it's wednesday yeah i know i'm getting comments about that <laughs> i know i'm getting comments about pierre being closed today but whatever at least i'm in the area uh fetch course yeah we can do that no problem give that to sebastian yeah i can do that easily set down here let's go see if i ever got that special request did i ever do that delivery yeah i never got a special request so let's definitely do that because i heckin forgot about that and there's mary lewis right there don't want to go through anyone's trash wow everyone's watching even though it is a, a good luck day today, right? Good humor today. Uh, crop order and fragments of the past. Which one? Calling all amateur. Ooh. This sounds pretty interesting here. I need 100 pieces of bone for my studies. Please drop them off. And yeah, 100 pieces. Of I forget what layers we get the skeletons at. I don't know if... And then this one right here, crop order. The Queen of Sauce was recently spotted dining fresh radish. Now everyone in the world wants one. Anyone who ships 100 radishes by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward from the Pelican Town Agricultural Fund. 26 days to do that? I like that. It really motivates us and it, it really incentivizes us to plant more radishes, especially because someone actually commented, apparently I never planted any radishes last season. That's why I thought it was like a new thing for this season, but I guess I just never planted them, right? So yeah, let, let's get 100 radishes. Let's get those going. But it's, it's a whole month, it's a whole season long thing. Do I want to do that or do I want to go do something like this that'll kind of incentivize us? I don't know. We, we've been kind of doing like, like these special requests. We, we've been really distracted by them, right, lately? And it's been getting in the way of other things we've been trying to do. I, I guess it'd be nice to have one that's kind of on the back burner, kind of happen in the background like this. 
We can do that. I think we have like 20, 24, something like that already planted. So that's going to be easy, you guys. We are, we still have area right now that uh, we, we don't even have anything planted on them just yet. So I guess we'd put radishes there or something like that, right? Let's accept the quest though for Lewis. Boom, there we go. Even though I know I'm going to get comments from people saying, yeah, it's going to be a good excuse to go back to the mines and uh, kill skeletons for Gunther there. But I'm like, it is halfway through the week already. So we, we got a little bit of a, whatever the reverse of a head start is, right? So that kind of sucks. But anyways, uh, is there anything else going on today? I, I guess I can still go to the desert, even though it is, I don't know, is, is there anything? Oh, wait. Well, there's Pam walking, but I guess it's too late to go to the desert now? Hold on. So it's 5 p.m. the latest you can go to the, on the bus? I guess so. Okay, well, that's good to know. A little bit of trial and error right there. And yeah, it's a little bit too late to go to Robin now. I think she closed at six, five or six or something like that. So that kind of sucks there. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Wow, wow, people are like kind of done and busy and all the kind of stuff. I'm like, I could get some quartz for Sebastian. Yeah, I, I guess I can go do that. It's not going to be too hard. Actually, I think I have straight up quartz just in my, uh, in my farm over here. I guess if anything, you know what? You know what? Let, let's go cut down the rest of the trees over here, I suppose. Maybe go to the spooky woods. We can, we can go over there too. And I guess I could just sell stuff like the diamonds, right? We can sell that. Sell the, the cheese, the mayonnaise, all that kind of jazz. The usual stuff, right? Sell that. And then overnight, we're going to get some money. And then I guess... Maybe tomorrow we could upgrade our uh, barn, right? So that's going to be really, really good, you guys. But yeah, it, going down there is going to be a good excuse for us to get more fiber so we can make some grass starters, right? So that's actually going to be pretty good. And yeah, grass starters and tree fertilizers too. So that's going to be great, you guys. So let me get down a few of these mahogany trees over here, get some more hardwood. And yeah, we still have some extra speed right now, which is great. And I can't tell what, what kind of, all the, all the seeds that are planted look the same. I can't tell if it's a mahogany or if it's anything else. Like, what is that? I'm not hundred percent sure, but there is a weed right there. So you want to get a little bit of fiber from that. So that's, that's going to be great. And yeah, yeah. Uh, tomorrow when Pierre is open again, definitely want to buy some more fruit trees. I forgot to do that for fall. So we can start growing those, right? But there you go. That's all the mahogany trees cut down. I don't know how much hardwood we have now though. So definitely want to check up on that. We have four more mahogany seeds. So one, two. Yeah, I, I got a comment saying I don't I don't need to plant them uh, four away or whatever, or uh, two away. Uh, but I, I guess I'm just more comfortable doing it like this anyways. And I guess I'll put one down here. There you go. Cool. And I guess we'll just... Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, we're slowed down. So let's get some pepper poppers now. There you go. And I guess we'll head over to the secret woods, spooky woods, whatever it's called. <laughs> cut down some of the fiber over here and cut down some more uh, mahogany trees, right? Try and collect some more fiber and whatever else we may come across. There you go. Yeah, see, we're getting a little bit over here, but I don't know. This area isn't really too reliable. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Start foraging for uh, other stuff, too. Like, we got some sweet peas right there and some mixed seeds, too. Cool. And some more fiber right there. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you guys. Oh, man, look at that little, uh, little frog right there. I don't think you guys uh, really want to see this repetitive, laborious footage right here. So let me just pause the recorder real quick, get some of this busy work done here, gathering fiber, all the kind of jazz. And I'll see you guys probably at like midnight or whenever I go to bed, 2 a.m. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll go uh, ride that bus and see what's going on over in the desert. As well as uh, give Jazz a birthday present. So I didn't write it down, but uh, what is Jazz? What do we know Jazz likes? Because we, we have like, what, three chocolate cakes or something like that randomly? Does she like that? Plum pudding and fairy rose? I feel like we have some extra fairy roses in storage. So let's go check up on that before I go to bed and then we can go give that to her. Uh, don't know where she's going to be in the morning. Well, we have that mod install that literally tells us where she's going to be at all times, right? I did get a comment reminding me, as well as someone on our uh, Syrup Squad Discord server reminding me as well, to get a prismatic shard and bring that to the desert, because apparently there's something over there, and you have to give it to someone, or you have to place it somewhere, something like that. Uh, but that, that's the main reason why you guys said, oh, don't, don't donate the prismatic shard to the museum or whatever else. Uh, you need to keep it, and this is the reason why. Are you guys back? Uh, I just placed down a bunch of pathways by those trees. You guys know with the, the tappers around them. Uh, put a bunch of pathways over there just to prevent some uh, weeds and stuff like that from spreading over there. So that's good. But just double checking right now. Jazz likes the fairy rose. And yep, we do indeed have fairy roses over here, which is good. Don't know if we have any gold star ones. I kind of want to check up on that. If we, yes, we do. Ooh, do we have any multiple? No, just one of like the purple and another of the uh, kind of pinkish color right there. So. I guess we'll keep those, and then uh, I need to move some of the gold star forging things there. I have some extra cobblestone paths in my inventory, and I kind of put the uh, mixed seeds up in the same chest as... Uh, what's this wrong thing? kind of put the mixed seeds up in the same thing as this. Yep, hardwood. How much do we have? We have 200... Wow, that's a lot of hardwood. 232 now. That's amazing. 
Uh, is there anything else? Nope, I think we're good to go. Awesome. Okay, well, let's go over here. Let's go to bed. And unfortunately, didn't take use of uh, any of the, like, good spirits, good luck or whatever that we had today. So uh, that kind of sucks. But we're getting a lot of money overnight by selling some of the diamonds, some of the forge or uh, farming stuff over here. Uh, void mayonnaise, all the kind of jazz. Eh, it's not that bad. And then uh, 6,913 gold overnight. Don't mind if I do. I think we have enough now to upgrade the barn. I think we need 12,000. I think we have like 13, 14,000 now, right? But anyways, day four of summer, year two has started. We are, yep, up to 14,000 in the bank. Amazing. There you guys. Yep, it is indeed Jazz's birthday today, so that's good. Let's check up on the TV here. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Awesome. And Fortune today is very happy today. Amazing. Let's see what this is over here. Animal Spotlight, the pig, which we're probably going to be getting here pretty soon once I uh, start upgrading the barn in this episode, right? Uh, actually, at the same time, do I want to do that or do I want to save some money in case there's something in the desert that I might want to buy, like maybe a special vendor or something like that? I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to save my money, at least for right now. Maybe, I'm like, overnight, I'm going to get another, like, few thousand or whatever from the cheese, the, 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 the mayonnaise, all that kind of jazz, right? So, yeah, let's just, let's just keep our 14 grand or whatever we have right now, and then uh, tomorrow we could upgrade the barn. That sounds like a good idea. Anyways, Animal Spotlight, the pig. In these parts, pigs are trained to sniff out valuable truffles. You've got to let your porkers outside and be patient. They'll work their magic when they're good and ready. Make oil out of their truffles to maximize your profit. All right, cool. Uh, and speaking of maximizing profit and all that kind of stuff, I think I might have mentioned this just a minute ago, but someone said to, instead of planting whatever's over there, spangles and poppies, I should just plant poppies. So whenever all the spangles and all them are done growing, I guess I'll just replant poppies in their place or just get rid of them in general, because apparently the, uh, the bee nests will like produce honey with whatever the closest flower is. And there's plenty of poppies over there. I planted them in like a checkerboard pattern, basically, right? But I do want to grab the prismatic. Yep, boom. Yep, it still says Gunther. You can tell me more about this. So thankfully, I did not donate that to the museum. So that's good. So let's grab that. And uh, Quartz, uh, we're going over. Some... Oh, yeah, we're when does his mission uh, expire, by the way? Is it today or? Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we can go over to Sebastian and give him this quartz then, I suppose, right? So uh, just get that done. 75 gold, but at least he's going to be thankful. Get a little bit of friendship points with him, right? So don't want to forget about that. And is there anything else I want to do? Oh, yeah. I did not have any extra fiber to make grass starters over here, unfortunately. Uh, but I did make a bunch. Oh, wow. Look at the progress over here, you guys. That's amazing. Uh, but I did make a bunch of tree fertilizer, which is fine. So I know as you guys know the drill. Let me just get some of the morning busy work done. Oh, whoops. Morning busy work done over here, watering the crops, check up on the chickens, all that kind of jazz, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit, and I guess we'll go give Sebastian something, we'll go give Jazz one of those, uh, do we still have that one inventory, the fairy, fairy flower? Yeah, we do, okay, good. Um, but then we'll go over to the desert, we'll ride the bus over to the desert, and we'll see what's going on over there, so I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, the void chicken, the void chick has turned into a void chicken, so that's pretty cool. Kind of debating, do I want to sell the mayonnaise right now, or do I want to maybe take it into the, uh, yeah, let's take it into the town. Sell it to Pierre, because we're going over there anyways to go see uh, Jazz and Sebastian, right? And I kind of want to look at the map and see where they're actually physically at right now. So we kind of plan our route around. So we need that for Sebastian. We need that for the desert. Keep that. And then a uh, cobblestone pad. I guess I'll put that up over here. Uh, some of the extras that I have there. And yeah, I must have already donated that to the museum. Okay, good. Need to refill the watering can. But uh, let's check up on the map. Let's see where everyone is. Where is... Okay, Jazz is actually... De Should we go pay her a visit? And then we can go up to Sebastian. And then we can ride the thing yeah so we can go to sebastian we could ride the minecart over to the bus stop and then ride it okay that sounds like a plan there you guys cool actually yeah i said i wanted to go up here as well Man. all right well let's go over to jazz let's go let's go get her birthday done with right so let's go to let's go give her her uh start what is that called fairy fairy rose yeah give her the fairy rose oh yeah and then oh look at that we have some maple syrup or something like that done cool uh but yeah we don't have pepper poppers or whatever right now i guess we'll have to wait until our uh, peppers are ready to be harvested and then we can make more i think i have like one gold star pepper popper but or pepper like straight up just pepper but i'm kind of hesitant to actually use that right now right <laughs> anyways supply shop let's see why am i over here oh yeah i'm not i'm not buying anything uh yep over here uh, let's give jazz her birthday present yeah we don't need to buy anything from mark actually hold on i think someone said to uh like give that to her yep you remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Um, someone said to put something like a strange bun in Vincent's like toy chest or something like that. I've got to do that. I, I have it literally written down in my notes, but I have so much stuff written down. So it's hard to keep track of everything. <laughs> so it's kind of like a double edged sword there, right? But uh, then there's Haley and then uh, whatever his name is. I forgot what his. Oh, yeah. I need to get rid of these crops here and try and get some more uh, fiber. So I accidentally just hit whatever his name is right there. Whoops. But at least I'm getting some fiber, right? So that's good. I'm getting some good uh, fiber in my diet, but. <laughs> Let's go over here. Let's go give a. Let's go sell some of the stuff to Pierre. Get a little bit of last minute money to 
hopefully uh, fuel our spending addiction. Oh, what in the world? Abigail, what are you doing here? Ew, I hope I don't get a tan this summer. <laughs> well, uh, oh my gosh, she's not going to get out of the way. She going, is she out of the way now? She's just standing there. Get out of the way, Abigail. There we go. Golly. <laughs> Uh, let's go up here. Let's go to Pierre. Let's go sell some stuff. Uh, maybe get some more. Yeah, yeah, I guess while we're here, we can buy some radish seeds. So we bought like, I, I, I want to say we bought 24 last time. So maybe we'll buy because we're there are 40 each. That's a decent amount of money. So the mayonnaise. There you go. Oh, I forget to get the cheese. Whoops. Uh, but that's radish seeds. So we have 24. I guess we can get 26. So we have 50. And then we do two rounds of it because we have all month to do it. Right. Uh, and then we can plant another 50 in the second half of the month, and then we'll have that mission done, basically, right? So, let's buy Radish Seeds and get 26? I want to say 26. There you go. Uh, I don't even know how much we spent right there, but we have more money right now than we had beforehand, so I guess it just kind of ate into that mayonnaise money right there, so not that big of a deal. And then, oh wait, Seb hey, look at that, Sebastian, I got your thing. Hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. All right, let's 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 talk to him as well. Don't want to forget about that. I definitely don't want to go swimming, if that's what you're going to ask. I was going to ask you to go to the desert, Sebastian, but I guess you don't want to go. Oh, you just stopped to say hi? Sorry. All right, let's get our money. For, it was only like, yeah, 75 gold right there. Not that big of a deal, but it's still money nonetheless, right? So anyways, I think we're pretty well set to go over to the desert, I believe, right? I think so. So let's go over here. Don't even need to ride the mine carts or anything like that. Let's go over here, let's go uh, get Pam to go take us over to the desert and see what this is all about because I'm very curious because we've never been outside of Pelican Town before so this is going to be the first time this is ever happening right did you know that my little baby girl loves emerald yeah I know I I'm pretty sure I gave it to her before uh Penny I gave it to her one year and she wouldn't stop talking about it oh yeah well uh so what do I do now do I just wait what happens wait oh do you use this machine Oh, I wonder if you had to use the machine last night. I didn't even know to do that. Buy a ticket to, oh man, for 500 gold? That's a lot of money, but we have a lot of money. So let's do it. There you go, boom. Yeah, I don't know if we were able to ride it yesterday, but Pam was like, yeah, see, she's the bus driver. Oh, what in the world? There's a camel, there's a guy, there's a guy in a shop or whatever. I assume that's a shop. It's hard to tell. And then we're here, like, yeah, what, what, what's going on with this guy? Can I buy a camel from him? Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is a shop over here. Cool. Oh, wait, he's... He doesn't trade money. He trades, like, different gems and stuff. Okay, so one... What's that? A ruby for a spicy eel. Triple shot espresso for a di I probably should have kept a diamond in my inventory. Artifact trove for five Omni Geodes. Warp totem desert. Mega bomb for five Iridium ore. Golly, just a regular one for five quartz. Magic rock candy. Whoa! 500 energy, 225 health. Plus two mining, plus five luck, plus one speed, plus five defense, plus five attack for what is that? Three prismatic shards? What the? Jeez! And then uh, to craft a warp totem desert, you need two hardwood, one coconut, four iridium ore, and it requires ten iridium bar to buy that recipe. Butterfly hutch requires two hundred bat wings. Yeah, see, I don't have three hundred thirty-three omni geodes for a magic turban. What the? Jeez, 50 for a green one. These look so similar. To oh, wait, no, this one's color changing. Ooh, interesting. But is that is that still worth 333? That takes so much time to get that, I'm sure. I'm, I, I doubt we've even gotten 33 Omni Chios throughout this whole entire playthrough so far. Golly. And then Birch Double Bed. And requires one per... Wait, how do you get that? Maybe it's something you have to do here in the uh, desert. I don't know. But either way, uh, oh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you could have clam, like, like, like... like ranching like clam pets or something like that kind of like we have cows and chickens and stuff and like a, a, a coconut okay so what do i what do i do with the coconut like how did can i plant a coconut tree or palm tree or i don't know and there's like a big skeleton dead corpse right there oasis here Ooh. oh well, yeah what does the map look like oh i guess it's just this little corner over here calico desert uh so what's inside of the, the oasis over here oh who are you is this a hotel that i can stay in or a uh, customer sandy Oh, is it rare for customers to come here into the desert? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Yep, it is. All thanks to me. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of customers now, Sandy. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm the first of many. You poor burnt thing. <laughs> Yeah, it is summertime. Uh, yeah, this is probably a bad time to come over here, right? During the summertime. Oh, cactus!
the seeds and yeah so this is how we get the rhubarb you guys were talking about and then we get star fruit seeds at least she trades for money right we have a pretty good amount of it so wall cactus a shirt i don't know we do need new shirts maybe i'll get that i thought well, it was a thousand i thought it was a hundred for a second man it's pretty expensive seasonal plant uh, I don't know if we have that. Beet seeds. Plant these in the fall. Takes six days to mature. Uh, maybe I'll come back in the fall and buy those, right? Unless her... I don't know. Does her thing change every season like uh, Pierre's does? Where maybe next season she won't have beets. She'll have something else. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a few of them. Maybe I'll get like 10 or something like that. I don't know. Get 10 of those. Starfruit seeds. Plant these in the summer. Takes... Oh, don't we have starfruit? I feel like we do. And it's summertime right now. Takes 13 days to mature. Should I plant some? If I do, I'm going to get eight, just, you know, so it goes around the sprinkler. It takes 13 days, so we'll we'll have, like, basically two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks to harvest from this, right? I don't know if it's one of those where, you know, you plant it once and then it'll, it'll continue to produce fruit afterwards. I don't know. I'm like, it's star fruit, so I assume that's the case. So I, I don't know. I think I'm going to buy... We have 14,000. Let's buy it. Yeah, let's get, let's get eight. The usual amount, and then beet seeds. Yeah, let's, let's get 16 there. Uh, there you go. Just, just so we could put that around two sprinklers, right? Then rhubarb seeds, uh, same thing there. It takes 13 days to mature. Yeah, we need that for some sort of random mission to put, like, what is it? I think it's rhubarb. It's either rhubarbs or beets that we need to put in Mayor Lewis's fridge randomly. So I guess we get the same amount of rhubarb as beets. Uh, 16. There you go. Eight star fruit. Seasonal plant. I don't know if there's anything else here I need to get, at least for right now. And then cactus seeds. Can only be grown indoors, takes 12 days to mature, and then produces- Whoa! I didn't know there were in indoor plants that we could actually have. That's good. And a cactus indoor? I didn't know that was a thing you could do, except for like greenhouse, obviously, right? But So does that does that mean I have to use it in the greenhouse only, or does that mean I could keep it in my house? I don't know. I'm very curious about that. Well, then again, if I had it in my house, like, where would I even plant it, right? So, mm, takes 12 days to mature, and then produces fruit every three days. Maybe I'll buy a few of them, or... Nah, yeah, I guess I'll get the usual eight. There you go. Then beet seeds, all that, seasonal plant. I guess we'll get one of those. Uh, it doesn't need to be watered. I guess we'll get one of those, just because we have a bunch of other seasonal plants, so that'll, that'll match pretty well. And then a thousand. We're down to 7,800 right now, so I don't know if I want to buy that. Wall cactus for 700, old world rug for 25. That's a lot of money right there. I don't know if I want to. And there's a strange guy in a door over here. What is this? Who is this? Who are you? Bouncer. Ooh, what, what's hiding up there, huh? You don't want to let me in. Look at that guy right there. <laughs> Is that me doing a face reveal? <laughs> I don't know. It could be. You never know. But anyways, I guess we'll go out of here. So is this is this desert like really, really small? Like I thought it was going to be like a whole area, like a big area. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, that's got to be the uh, like if, if you do the desert warp totem, that's probably where you end up, huh? And then uh, yeah, you just sit here and admire the view. It's 1.20 p.m. right now. Yeah, the desert definitely seems a lot smaller. Than I was anticipating, which is kind of unfortunate. I guess we'll keep going around and see what's uh, what else is up here. So what's up here? Yeah, it seems like above the street there's a little bit of area, and then down there, and then there's Sandy right there. Cool. And then there's like a little uh, pond or something like that over there. So someone said, hold on, I wrote it in my notes. Where was it about the prismatic slime? I wrote it somewhere, or not prismatic slime, but the uh, prismatic shard. Oh, uh, top left. There's a shrine on the top left. Okay, well, let's go do. This is top right, so I guess that's not the shrine. You guys are. Oh. This must be it then, huh? I might as well refill my watering can here while I'm here. <laughs> Actually, yeah, what happens if I fish? I'm very curious about that. I'm like, it pauses in the background while I fish, so... Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, nothing new there. We just get green algae. <laughs> I'm wasting my... I, I kind of want to switch over to the uh, the regular bait. Another green algae? Are you kidding me? Uh, kind of want to switch over to the regular bait cause, just because we have so much of it. Oh, oh! We got an actual fit. Oh, wow! Look at this! What is this evasive critter? Hold on. Try and build up some green here, and then we'll worry about that chest. Someone said a, uh, a strategy to prevent... Oh, oh. oh, man. What in the world? I didn't hold it down right there. Ah, uh, we're losing out on the... Ah, no! No, it was right there! Golly. Ah, uh, seems like the green bar had a mind of its own right there. That really sings. That really sucks. Ah, uh, let's do it again. Yeah, you don't lose a bait unless you actually catch something like green algae, a fish, etc., right? So we're missing out... Whoa, whoa! Look at this! How in the world? I really need like some sort of special bobber there, you guys. Golly, okay, let's go inside this little thing over here. What is this? Is this a, what is this? You insert the skull key into, oh, this is where the skull key goes. It's a perfect fit. And there's a picture of a skull there too. So what is this? Oh, is this just another miner? Wait, what is this? Get some iron right there, some, oh, I do need some. Oh, what in the, we got a giant, whoops. 
there's a creature. Ah, get the heck away. I'm low on stamina too. Oh, I'm losing, I'm losing a lot of health right now, you guys. This is bad. This is bad news, bears. Get the heck away. Oh, I got him. I got Void Essence right there. Cool. Got like a giant. Is that a Prismax? No, that's just a purple one. Yeah, let's keep him at bay. Doing damage to him. Boom. Got him. Got three slimes right there. Amazing. Now, what else is around here? Oh, there's another giant. Ah, there's a guy. Oh, no. I'm getting swarmed by these guys. I'm just going to spam. I'm just going to spam. I'm spamming right now. There's a heckin'. What in the world? That flying thing just went through me. Oh, I'm getting. Ah, I get that thing. Why can't I kill it? I don't know, but I'm just spamming over here, you guys. Hold on, eat the eat the mushrooms. I do have a life elixir. I have two of them, actually. So I could use that in an emergency situation. So let's just eat a bunch of brown mushrooms right now, just because we have so much of them, and they're super cheap and easy to obtain. So let's just eat these for right now, then continue trying to kill that giant heckin' like McDonald's mascot guy, right? <laughs> Grimace, I think his name was. <laughs> so how do I actually kill the- Oh! He split up- Ah, there's another guy up there! Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm prepared for this. Oh, you guys were- such trolls tell me to come up to here. Where do I put the heckin' prismatic thing? This is not where I need to go, I don't think. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to focus on the heckin'. Ah! And then we got. Oh, we got some bombs right there. Amazing. I think if we put the bomb here, we could actually uh, get all the gold, but kind of don't. Oh, whoa. Wait, is this actually. Oh, it is gold. Oh, man. Well, it takes multiple, multiple hits for me to break them, though, so that's kind of unfortunate. So, is this like the. Uh... And what's this? I thought that was like a thing we could read on the wall, but I guess not. Uh, is there a map here, by the way? No, there's not. Huh. But uh, I don't even know what I was saying right there. Oh, yeah. Is this is this like the cave or the whatever? Or is it like the dungeon? I can't tell. Because there was that, that, that skull cavern or what? Or Actually, yeah, this would be the skull cavern then, right? Not that thing I was thinking of. The quarry over by the quarry. Yeah, that's definitely something different then, right? Anyways, I guess I'll continue killing these guys. Seems like they dropped something good, and it's kind of easy to keep them at bay. There you go. Spicy eel! Whoa, what is that? Oh, I thought that might have been a community center item right there. Uh, but I feel like maybe that comet might have had something backwards, because there are like little totems on that right side over there, but this took us over to the heckin' skull cavern. So, I feel like over on those... And then there's... So, yeah, do I have to find a way down, or... What, what, what do we what do we got going on here? Yeah, I guess you do. Yeah, look at the top left corner. One? So, layer one out of... Who knows? And this must be maybe, hopefully, where we get the Iridium, right? Finally? Because we didn't get any Iridium in the regular mines, and it seems like this might be where you get the Iridium then, huh? So, if I can find the way down- Jeez, there we go, fine, I heckin' leave. <laughs> Alright- Oh my gosh, I'm getting swarmed by these guys again! Stay at bay! Hopefully I get a better heckin' weapon here, though. God, I'm 5- 5, 5.30 p.m. right now, I don't know if- Like, do, can I even go home? Is the bus even still here? Did she go back home? I don't know. Or does it, like, stay here, even even if you stay, uh, past, like, 5 p.m. or whatever? Because we saw it, like, 5 or 6 or whatever, that Pam started to head home, so I don't know. Is she still here for me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm very curious about that now. But this this seems very similar, like, layout-wise. Right? I guess there's only so many layouts you could do for stuff like this, right? But, uh, and then there's... Oh, whoa, there's a chest over there. I'm kind of curious about that. Hold on, let me open that up. Didn't get anything in it! What? Man... Is there anything else around here, though? I kind of- Oh my gosh, there's more of these guys! But I kind of- I kind of want to leave and then maybe put the, uh- Oh man, hold on, yeah. This is an area where there's a bunch of stuff down there, right? Gotta avoid it. Yep, yep, yep! See, it's the same layout, so it's, it's basically got the same stuff. Yeah, there you go. Fire course emeralds? Amazing! Get some stone. Guess I'll kill this guy, or at least try and slide- And there's regular size version of the purple slimes over there. Okay, that one just split up into just a bunch of slimes right there. Cool. We got some fire quartz right there, which, uh, stone- Let's put that up over there. Whoops. How do I, uh... I guess we'll drop that for now. Pick, put that there and then... There, stack that up like that. Okay, cool. So now we have the fire course again. Awesome! So... And then there's stuff right there. I guess we'll continue breaking the stone around here and try hopefully find the way down. And if not, then... I don't know. Uh, can can I walk back home? I don't know. <laughs> or else I'm stuck here, right? I don't know. Or maybe can, can Sandy finally... Can her bouncer finally let me into the heckin' hotel over there and let me stay tonight? I don't know. But let me let me continue breaking some of the stone over here and hopefully find my heckin' way out of here because I'm heckin' stuck. And, uh... Oh, I can't pick... Yeah, I can't pick... This iron ore right there. Cool. Yeah, I can't pick up the... Oh, this is... Yeah, see, this is the slime, uh... Whatever right here. Slime layer. It's like a low chance of that happening, but I kind of want to leave. Let's, let's leave the miner. Eh, you know what? 650. How's my inventory doing right now? Yeah, I got seeds and stuff, so. Green I guess I'll eat the green algae, get a little bit of uh, energy out of that, right? And of course get a Oh no, I accidentally left a mine right there. Whoops. Ah man. Should I continue on? Yeah, you know what? It's seven. We spent a little bit of time over here in the Oh wow, it's actually still bright outside. Holy heck. 
Let's go over here. So is this the thing that you guys were talking about that I need to do something with? At least on the top left shrine. I feel like either either they wrote it wrong or I wrote it wrong. Maybe they wrote top right, but I wrote top left in my notes for some strange reason. <laughs> so, I don't know. So if I get this, there you go, put this and then put this here. If I right click, nothing's happening. Or do I have to put it in the center there? Now, oh wait, no, never mind. Something's happening now. I'm being ascended to a higher state of being. Oh my gosh, a galaxy sword. The prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes. The power is tremendous. You found the waffle galaxy sword. Or just the galaxy sword. It's, it's not the waffle one just yet. Maybe there's one in the future. Who knows? <laughs> but there you go, you guys. Oh my gosh. You guys were so right with that. Now, wait, hold on. Wait, what happened? Oh yeah, replace the uh, the prismatic. I was about to say, like, I didn't have, I had a full inventory beforehand, but yeah, we lost the prismatic shard, but now we have the galaxy sword, level 13. 60 to 80 damage plus four speed. This is level set. This it's a double. It's double the whatever the Yeti tooth is. That's amazing. Holy, you guys are amazing. So I, I guess we'll switch that out. We'll still keep the Yeti sword. Oh yeah, someone said. Especially because it's pretty late right now. Someone said I forgot to go to. And can I can I do that again if I have another prismatic shard? I don't know. Kind of want to come back here and check that. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. The bus is still here. Cool. Return to start event. Yeah, I guess we'll return at least for right now. Uh, then we'll ride the minecarts over to the Adventurers Guild, because someone said to go check up on that, because I said I wanted to do that, and I completely got distracted. Big surprise there, I guess, right? <laughs> but anyways, I guess we could sell the Yeti Tooth to that guy, perhaps, I don't know, and that would have been, you know what? That would have been great if I had the heckin' Galaxy Sword before going to that heckin' Skull Dungeon, right? So, <laughs> I don't know, maybe next episode we can go back there. We'd have to spend another $500, but still. And go back there and maybe kill those enemies a little bit easier because it does like basically doubled if not triple the damage our yeti tooth does right let's go over to the mines yeah let's go over to the mines and we'll go outside did i leave anything over here by the way i feel like i might have yeah basically just trash so not that big of a deal there right uh then we'll go home and i guess i could plant some stuff because i did not buy oh yeah i didn't oh yeah, yeah I, I did buy some radish so spice or uh let's go plant some of the radish seeds for whoops didn't mean to do that uh, play some of those before it turns to like midnight or whatever, right? Especially because we already have sprinklers set up. Uh, but let's talk to you. See if we can sell that Yeti tooth item recovery. Uh, so what did we lose? Chipped M4 fire quartz for 100. Fish taco, we lost that. Oh yeah, the common mushroom. Ah, uh, for that? Uh, we have 40 something right now though, right? Yeah, we have 37. So to get my nine, 99 common mushrooms that are still in there and I'm surprised, I don't know, maybe they've multiplied by now, I don't know. Because I'm like, they are mushrooms, they grow super duper quickly. And get my staircase back for free, I guess? I don't know, but you can only get one, yeah. I can only recover one of these for a fee, so if I if I recover the common mushrooms, I can't get the fish tuck and the staircase, ancient doll, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, these, these have been here for a while, so I think I'm not going to buy anything there. But, uh, shop, where is wood mallet, what in the world? I never saw that before. Level five, level eight. And then lava katana. And then the, yeah, we can buy. Oh my gosh, this thing is worth 50,000, but we got it for free. We can sell it for 650. No, I'm not doing that. I guess I'll sell the Yeti tooth then, get a little bit of money out of it in inventory space and stuff. So, uh, there you go. Just have to make sure I didn't accidentally. And then, oh, the galaxy dagger. Ooh. I don't know, I kind of like swords more than daggers, because you, you kind of have to spam the daggers to actually do, you know, good damage. Because they're faster and whatnot, but they have less, like, range and, like, area of effect and all that kind of stuff. I kind of like the swords. Better for crowd control and whatnot, right? Oh, a galaxy hammer! Made from ultra-light material you've never seen before. It's a heckin' ancient alien technology. Sneakers, leather boots. Do we have any, uh, space I think that's what we have right now, right? Yeah, we don't have any of these rings. Which, uh, increases attack, weapon speed, critical strike. Uh, critical strike. I think it only wear one ring at a time, or uh, you know, no, no, two, two rings, right? What am I wearing right now? Yeah, we have glowstone, and then next year, yeah, so our glow glow is a little bit more strong, right? So I don't know. I, I kind of want to consider getting one of these like buff rings or whatever explosive. Thing. I can buy just one for three hundred. That's a lot. I don't know why the insect head is still here. Is that because I sold it to him? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Is there anything here actually worth getting? I feel. I think the topaz one you guys said uh, wasn't even worth it, or was it the amethyst? I think it was the topaz you guys said wasn't worth it that one time, right? Uh, but what does this do? Oh, it doesn't say what it does. Oh, I think it's like plus four speed, right? So maybe we can get something like critical strike or maybe critical power, critical strike power. What does that even mean? Is that like knockback or something? I don't know. Weapon speed. Ooh, weapon speed would be amazing. 
especially with something with that much damage. And because it's just a regular sword, so it's going to be a little slower than, say, daggers. That could be pretty good. Attack by 10%. It already does a lot of damage. I don't know. If I'm going to buy a ring, probably emerald rings at the top of my list. But I'm not going to buy one right now because I kind of want to keep money uh, to upgrade the... Uh, the barn next episode, right? So let's definitely do that here. Uh, we're at 363 out of a thousand slimes, so really good there. 30 out of 150 void spirits, so we're a fifth of the way there, so that's pretty good there. 148 out of 200 bats, we're actually getting pretty close there, you guys. 21, hey, there's that number. Out of 50 skeletons, cave insects, we've already completed that. 10 out of 30 duggies, which are the little diglet guys. 233, uh, uh, dust, 233 out of 500 of the dust sprites, which is what they're technically, I keep calling them like sprites or whatever, but I guess I'm not wrong there, right? Then rock crabs, a little bit under two thirds right there, 38 out of 60. Then serpents, what are, oh, are those the ones from the, uh, the skull cavern? I killed eight of those things already? And I didn't even have the galaxy sword at that time? Holy. So we have to kill 250 of those, to, and then there's three more enemies we don't even know about there, so that's interesting. So we, uh, do we ever complete any? Come back when you, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we haven't completed any more of them, uh, since last time, right? So, yeah, nothing new there, I suppose, right? So, anyways, I guess we'll just go back home, plant down some of the, uh, some of the radishes, like I said I wanted to do. And uh, get those going, I suppose, right? So let's just go back home. As well as, I guess, put in storage the other seeds. Or, uh, yeah, what, what, when, when do we grow? Yeah, those. that's for fall. This, that's for spring, so that sucks. Uh, uh, yeah, let me double check. Which, which one was it that I... This one, right? Beets. Okay, beets. Beets. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we could do those next season. So we could actually continue on that Mr. Q... What was it? What was that guy's name? Mr. T... Yeah, this guy right here. 10 beats inside of Mayor Lewis's fridge. So we can do that during this fall time next season. So that's going to be something to look forward to, you guys. Then we'll uh, cactus seeds. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe just wait until we have the greenhouse. That's probably what you need to do. And then all these things over here we can put inside of the uh, whatever that other chest was, right? So that should be pretty easy. And this episode looks like it might be getting close to like end of the. Oh, whoa, we got a bunch of uh, pickled stuff done right there, you guys. Cool. Uh, but let me go inside of. Yeah, let me go inside of here. Let me put up some of the extra seeds up at the side of, say, here, such as the fall. This is in the summer, though. It's a star. Okay, yeah. Let's plant these down. We have eight of these, so let's definitely plant those all around a sprinkler. We want this for the spring, and that's for indoors. I can't do anything with that just yet. Uh, then we have random coconuts here. A seed of the coconut palm. So, yeah, speaking of such, can I make, can I put that? I, I kind of want to keep one in my inventory and see if I can put it inside the seed maker, right? See if we can actually get some seeds out of that. That'd be pretty cool. So uh, let's actually try that here just a bit. But put up some of the extra stuff up over here, such as fiber and slimes, all that kind of jazz real quick. Got the spicy eel. Yeah, um, let's go over here. Let's go grab that. Where is it? Yeah, the strange one. Let's go put that in Vincent's thing next episode, uh, his toy box. And that spicy eel, I guess I'll put that up inside of there. Then uh, let's put that outside, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll put that outside. So let's do that over here. And oh yeah, I need to put, I, I need to put more stuff in the recycling machine. I forgot about that. Uh, can I put that? No, I can't put that there. Can I put that there though? Uh, whoops. Can I put this here? Uh, wait, I can put I can put a torch there, but I can't put another plant there. Man, that's kind of sucks. Uh, let's put that. Yeah, put that there. Sure. Oh look at that, we got a cactus. Cool. <laughs> all right, let's grab uh, all all these right here. And I do believe, yeah, these are all pickled cauliflower, which is amazing. Uh, I kind of want to keep that, uh, what's it called, crystal fruit? I kind of want to keep that until uh, the kegs, because we get more money from those, obviously, right? So, do we have any more cauliflower over here I can start pickling? Yeah, that's that's where the, yeah, that's where the cauliflower would be if I had any. And unfortunately, I don't have any more, unfortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> so, I kind of like, so, sell these over here. Let's see if I can put the coconut inside of this thing and maybe grow a coconut tree if I can. No, you can't do that, unfortunately. Man, unfortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> But let me, uh, let's continue planting down some stuff over here. Yeah, thankfully I already filled up the watering can because it was empty. Literally filled it up in a heckin' desert, which is basically a heckin' meme right there, right? <laughs> but uh, let's till all the land over here and get this prepared for the star fruit and a bunch of rhubarb. No, not rhubarb. Uh, radish. Yeah, right here, I guess right here we'll put the uh, star fruit just so they're all around the same sprinkler. So there you go. And we'll need to water everything over here, too, so don't don't want to forget about that. We have 13 left over. Yeah, we have a lot of room over here. We can definitely plant. Yeah, I kind of want to continue planting down uh, corn and all that kind of jazz, too. Don't want to forget about that, but let's plant some stuff over here. There you go. Cool. And then let's let's water some of the slots that are unwatered right now. All right, so we're going to have, I think, 50, I want to say 50 rhubarb growing right now, which is pretty good. And then we have a little bit of star fruit over there as well, which is great. Let's go over here. Let's go check up on the cheese and the, the mayonnaise machines, etc. Start selling some of the some of the stuff over here, so... That'd be pretty good. I don't know how much fiber we got just a minute ago. I think we only had like basically single digits. So I don't know if having a grass starter here would make, I guess it would help. Oh, and by the way, 
Uh, yeah, we, we got double Void- uh, did I say this last time? I don't know if I said this. But the Void Chickens are both adults, and we got double, uh, chicken eggs, and apparently we had a leftover egg. I don't know how that happened, but I guess I, guess I need to make another mayonnaise machine, perhaps? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so we have two of those, two of those. Yeah, I don't know how we got that. Maybe that egg was from yesterday, but I feel like it would have despawned, right? I don't know. Either way, I guess we'll just sell it overnight. So, mayonnaise, put that over here, as always. There we go. And we'll need to put that up inside of storage indoors. It's 12, 10 p.m. right now. Do I know? Oh, yeah. I want to put stuff inside of the kegs. So see if we have any like silver star, gold star, uh, cauliflower. Because we have tons of them we harvest. Yeah, we have 58 silver star right there. And speaking of such, put up the silver star coconut. Start uh, uh, pickling some more cauliflowers over here, I suppose. There you go. And yeah, there's stuff over here I want to do. I don't know. Maybe I can put the silo over there. There you go. Maybe I'll put the silo over there just so it's kind of out of the way. I don't know. Is there anything else I want to get done before the end of the day? And we can end off the episode, at least for right now. 12.30. I think, yeah, we already went to Decay. It's already cut down some trees. All the kind of Oh, yeah, there's uh, maple syrup, I think, down here. That needs to be harvested, I believe, right? So, I guess we'll go check up on that. And we'll get another day of progress, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, yeah, look at that maple syrup. And, yeah, you can see the uh, some of the pathways that I placed down over here, which is good. I went only to over to that tree right there. Uh, then I started working on the second layer right here. So, off camera, I'm going to have to continue doing that. But for right now, it's 1 a.m. I guess we'll just start heading to bed, you guys. Look at that, my dog is sleeping in my spot. That that reminds me of real life. My dog likes to sleep in my spot, too, on my bed. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to sleep for the night. There you go. Hopefully I didn't miss out on anything. We did Jazz's birthday. We did uh, Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. And then we got basically 10,000 gold overnight. Amazing. 9268. Great stuff right there. Mayonnaise, duck mayonnaise. Jeez, yeah. I can't wait until we get gold star duck mayonnaise, gold star void mayonnaise, you guys. It's going to be crazy. Like, like right now, we're getting gold star just regular mayonnaise, and we get 1,500 uh, from every day right there, which is crazy. And then, yeah, getting 2,000 from the gold star cheese right there. Same thing with the cheese. Now, all of our cheese is always gold star, which is amazing. But anyways, let's just hit OK and start looking forward to next episode, you guys. Day five of summer year two. Yeah, I, I need to write it down at the top of my notes to buy those fruit trees. I keep forgetting. I keep putting that off. I was literally talking to Pierre earlier, too, right? Well, then again, yeah, I was purposely saving my money so we'd have money for the desert, which I guess I'm glad because at that point we bought a bunch of uh, seeds and all the kind of stuff, right? So I think we're down to like 7,000 or whatever. Now we're back up to 17,000, so that's amazing there. <laughs> but either way, this is going to be a great place to leave off the episode. So thank you guys all very much for watching. Oh, we got something in the mail right here. Let's, let's see what this is all about real quick. Is this someone, uh, something from, oh, we won the world. I see you entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send you if you can do it. Your friend, Mr. Key. All right, well, I guess we'll accept that quest. Cool. So I guess there's only 25 layers in that Skull Cavern then, huh? That kind of sucks. There's 120 over here in the heckin' mountain over there, but then again, it's a heckin' mountain, so it kind of starts above ground, right? So I guess that explains it. But either way, uh, what was I doing right there? I think I was doing the outro. But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley with my new galaxy sword in the outro. <laughs> oh, bye there. Wow, look at how fast that thing is. Oh, bye there.